Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Monday, February 19, 2024, General Hospital teasers indicate that Jocelyn Jacks is furious at Sonny Corinthos's behavior. Carly Spencer gets Jocelyn's rant. An announcement is made by Valentin Cassidine. Lois Cirillo is in for a thrilling revelation. Tracy Quartermain feels betrayed though. GH teasers for Monday, February 19 indicate that Jocelyn will be furious with Sonny for what he did. When the episode concluded on Friday, February 16, 2024, Jocelyn was still awaiting the reading of Dex Heller's farewell letter. Jocelyn learned that Dex was deceased, nevertheless, when his dog tag slipped out. In the teaser for Monday's episode, Jocelyn is seen complaining to Carly about Sonny's attempts to keep her and Dex away. Jocelyn says, apart, without mentioning death. That implies that Jocelyn is aware of Dex's survival. Will Jocelyn find Dex, and if so, how much will it cost? He will make an announcement after talking to Valentin. But Valentin won't be the only one announcing this. Nana Reeves will be escorted by Valentin. What impact will this revelation have on Nina's conflict with Drew Kane then? There are hints that the conflict might worsen and possibly turn violent. How far will Drew go to get the money from Nina? According to Monday, February 19, General Hospital spoilers, Lois will be in for an amazing surprise. Lois bursts in, telling Tracy and Brooke Lynn Quartermain about a major surprise. Does the wedding of Brooke Lynn and Harrison Chase have anything to do with this? Fans could also anticipate Tracy becoming offended on Monday, February 19. Trina Robinson is consoled by Curtis Ashford as she continues to be shocked by Spencer Cassidy's passing. In addition, Gregory Chase and Alexis Davis will converse on Monday's show. Furthermore, Stella Henry. What storyline on Monday? February 19 are you most excited to see? Which Sunny, Dex, Jocelyn, Carly, Valentin, and Nina do you think will happen? For Trina, Curtis, Stella, Marshall, Brooklyn, Gregory, and the other Port Charles citizens, what does the future hold? According to previews for General Hospital, Ryan Chamberlain is still alive. We realize it's shocking. Maybe one of the most evil individuals Port Charles has ever encountered is still out there, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike against the enemies he has amassed over the years. He's really skilled at the wait and see game. But every now and again, something disastrous enough occurs to make Ryan act foolishly and breach the boundaries he sets for himself. As one might expect, that tragedy more recently may have been the passing of his daughter, Esme Prince. Will Ryan be able to control his emotions long enough to complete his grand scheme? Or will he make a mistake in a fit of rage? Ace Cassidine is all that remains of his legacy. Ryan had been shot by Max Scorpio, John J. York, and was headed to the morgue when we last saw him. The man may yet be alive, and our bet is that it's his kind-hearted twin brother with the devil complex, Dr. Kevin Collins who may have helped him avoid this terrible fate once more. Could it be that Kevin discovered his brother wasn't dead when saying his farewell to him and managed to get him somewhere secure where no one else could see him? We wouldn't be shocked because Kevin has consistently expressed greater worry for Ryan's safety than for anyone else's. Ryan's survival, meanwhile, would make sense in light of what transpired on that barge in Paris. We knew better when Esmond Spencer Cassidine Nicholas Alexander Chavez, went overboard into the English Channel's frigid waters and were thereafter thought to be dead. We are aware that Chavez is scheduled to return to the show. Therefore, we know that someone is keeping him in prison somewhere. That someone most likely needs to be able to pay for their actions and be present in order to save Chavez or Esme. Was Ryan the one who saved Spencer's life only to make it worse? Right now, Ryan desires his grandson more than anything else. If he acts on impulse rather than carefully planning out how he's going to get his hands on Ace, that kind of impulsiveness could come back to bite him. 
We are aware that Ryan didn't truly care for her after she let him down by not remembering him enough after his amnesia. However, Ace might grow out to be exactly like his grandfather. According to General Hospital teasers, a new face will soon appear in Port Charles. Actress Eva LaRue, who formerly starred in All My Children, will portray Blaze's mother on the program. The character is called Natalia Rogers Ramirez. And on Monday, February 26, LaRue will make her GH to boot. According to GH teasers, Christina Corinthos Davis and Blaze appear to be developing a cute romance. But there may be a catch to all of this since the singing sensation hasn't come out of the closet yet. The intriguing part about Blaze's silence regarding her sexual orientation is that her family comes first, not so much what her fans will say. She was raised in a strict Catholic home, and Blaze remembers an uncle who was once banished by the family. She thinks it was because he was gay, even if she doesn't know all the details. Though she detests the thought of keeping their relationship a secret, Christina genuinely likes Blaze. Christina has agreed to wait, and Blaze has pledged to work on coming out. But what will happen when Natalia shows up out of nowhere? Blaze will probably be taken aback by Natalia's presence. Even though Blaze and her mother get along well, Blaze will have to tread carefully from the moment her mother arrives in town because she hasn't told her about being homosexual. If Blaze felt uneasy around Christina in public during the holidays while her family wasn't in town, her mom's presence will make her feel ten times more uneasy. Furthermore, there will undoubtedly be a great deal of tension between the two women and a rift in their romance due to the possibility that Christina would have to lie openly to the woman about her plans with Blaze. To what extent will Natalia's arrival to Port Charles generate turmoil for Christina and Blaze? Is her stay in the little town temporary or permanent? According to General Hospital spoilers, Scott Baldwin found it difficult to remain silent while Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring, painted their most recent break as little more than a blemish on her bedpost and an indication of her bad judgment. Scott was not going to take any more jabs from his old flame as she made it clear that she literally would not have laid in the hay with him had she not been heartbroken over Martin Marty Gray, Michael E. Knight. Although it's inevitable that Lucy will be in deep mourning over the termination of her relationship with Marty, would she be able to move on to something new but yet familiar with Scott once she's forgiven herself? Since their first date, Lucy and Scott have essentially been going to bed together. They are quite familiar with one another, which is presumably why it's so easy for them to relax and let things go. They are both aware of each other's shortcomings, but they don't really care. Some would argue that Scott and Lucy are genuine equals and that the reason most of their relationships with other people didn't work out was because they were too preoccupied with trying to live up to the expectations of partners who had higher moral standards. Put another way, Lucy and Scott occasionally play together because they are both at ease playing filthy. Fans appear to believe that their latest liaison is just the start. Although Lucy may be reluctant to commit to Scott once more, Everyone in attendance appears to be thrilled at the prospect of a reunion between the two of them. As much as we would like to deny it, nobody is getting any younger. We want Lucy and Scott to get married, or at the very least, to be content and settled with no indication that their future is in danger. They appear to be constantly on the edge of heartbreak whenever one of them falls in love. However, that dynamic isn't typically present between them, that is until Scott can persuade Lucy to relax. There are rumors that Scott and Lucy will reconcile, and that their love for their daughter will be the factor that brings them back together in the end. Please, G.H., spare Scott any more dead kids. What is a man's limit? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.